Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a love reading. Who is Aries? Next big romance. We're going to take a look at your energy Aries. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. And then we're going to look at some characteristics about your person. Um, we're going to look at where this connection is going and also take a little bit of advice. Okay. Aries, what is your current energy on love? Tell me what is your current energy on love? If this reading doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your moon and rising sign if you know that. Um... Otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, we have trust your intuition. She's always right. What is your energy, Aries? We have the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Okay, so Aries, I feel like you're really listening to your inner self right now. You're really focusing on uh, your spiritual side, on getting that spiritual awakening. Uh, you may be doing more meditating. You may be... Um, really focusing on yourself, grounding yourself. I'm really feeling like there's sort of an inner battle going on, you know, and I feel like you're struggling to get through that situation. Um, but I feel like that's the reason why you're grounding yourself. You're trying to trust yourself more in your situations. Longing for home. Homesick for the stars. So you may be far away from home right now. Um, you may be traveling. Uh, you may be visiting friends. But I feel like you're, you're, you're far from home. Let's see, let's take a, per a look at your person's energy. What is Aries person's energy? Their next big romance. Tell me more about their person's energy. Within the next few weeks. Okay, so if you haven't met this person already, you may meet this person within the next few weeks. Within the next few weeks, they could be coming into your life. And this person is focusing on themselves as well. They're focusing on their abundance. They're, they may be working a lot of hours. They may be putting a lot of time into their profession. Um, but they're working on themselves. They're working on their success. Tell me more about this person who's coming into Aries' life. Tell me about this next big romance for Aries. We have trust the universe. So this person is trusting also. They may be also manifesting with this abundance card. They may be focusing on what they want to do, you know, this coming year. What they want to focus on. Um, I feel like this person is very focused on where they want to be. Where they see themselves at during this year. I'm not quite sure if they're focused on love, but they're they're focused on their abundance, their profession, their money. They're manifesting something. Tell me more about this person, spirit. Tell me more about this person coming into Aries life. Okay. We have the justice card. And we have the Queen of Cups. So, this person is not only manifesting love, 
I feel like this person is very caring. They're very giving. I'm really feeling like treat them how you want to be treated. You know, I, I feel like they they put out what they want to receive. So I feel like they their kindness that they give, their a sweet gestures or um, any generosity. I feel like they they want to receive the same in return. They're kind of looking for that karmic balance. I feel that's the where where this trust the universe comes in. This person may be manifesting you as well as you manifesting him or her. Tell me more about this person. The strength card. I feel like this person is very wise. They're very strong. They've been through just some things. We have the Ace of Wands. So yeah, they're they're looking to start. They may be starting over. They may be starting from scratch. You know, but I feel like this person has a fire. This person is very driven. They may have just lost a job that they were really happy with um, and I feel like they're starting over in some kind of new venture some kind of new profession but I feel like this person this person is very creative very inspiring uh, this person may be a teacher may be in the arts um, but I feel like this person is very driven they they go for what they want and they go with a fire you know um, they know where they want to be and they want to get there I'm gonna move these over a little bit with the justice card this person may be in the legal profession as well but I feel like this person has a lot of strength. They have a lot of drive. They take care of themselves very well. They provide for themselves very well. You have the Page of Cups. If you haven't met this person, I feel like they you're gonna bump into this person. I feel like there's small talk with this person, you know. Um, you may bump into this person at your workplace for some of you. Um, at With others, I feel like this may be a gathering that you're at where you meet this person. We have the Seven of Wands, definitely. I feel like this person is in a very competitive field. <clears throat> they're in a very competitive field. I feel like maybe they're in sales. They could be in sales. Some type of selling that they do. We have the Eight of Wands. So we're going from the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands. So this person is definitely progressing. Um, and I feel like this person is a very good communicator. This, this person is always busy. I feel like they work a lot. This person works a whole lot. 
they may be very focused on what they're doing at the moment. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like this person feels like they don't have time for too much more than work. I feel like they're totally focused. They may have also been hurt in the past. So they're they're focusing, they're putting all of their energy into work. They they may not want to um, dive into love at the moment, you know. Um, but you have they have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this person, like I said, they they're very fiery. They're very high spirited. They're very social. Also, I believe, very attractive. Very. It could be that they're very high strung. They get excited very easily. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely this person is they're definitely focused on work. But I also feel like, Aries, if you're able to win this person's heart, this person is very caring. They're very loving. They're very free-spirited. Very confident and self-assured. I feel like they know exactly where they belong. The Hermits. Yeah, they may have been alone for a while because of some kind of situation. Maybe it's that they've dedicated so much to work that they haven't had time to find love. They haven't had time to work things out. But I feel like this person is very smart. They're very wise for their age. I feel like they're they're accepting to love when it comes, but I feel like they're not really they're not really looking for love. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like they're trying to find answers elsewhere. We have the fool. Wow. This person is Aries. This person is on a journey of discovery. They're discovering new ways, new ventures, new possibilities. They're, they're on a journey to find themselves definitely with the hermit and the fool they're on a journey to find themselves they're trying to gain their inner wisdom to kind of manifest whatever it is they want in their life I feel like they're they're diving deep they may read a lot of books they may um, really do a lot of studying about manifestation, about uh, success, and kind of accelerating themselves in whatever it is, whatever profession they do. I feel like they're on this great acceleration, you know what I mean? Um, but they're definitely focused on work. The Six of Cups. This may be someone that you've known from the past. This may be someone that you may meet back up with after a long time. I don't feel like this is an ex. I feel like this is someone you've known from some time in your past. This is someone that maybe you went to school with maybe you worked with before at another profession but I feel like you know this person Aries 
this person seems very familiar you know what I mean um, but I feel like when you see this person they're they're totally different than what they used to be with the death card they're totally different they're totally transformed they've changed in so many ways I feel like this person may grown to have become more attractive than when you've known them before they've become more grounded maybe more successful more more prosperous you know um, but I feel like I'm really feeling like this is someone that you know this is someone coming back and I don't feel like it's an ex this isn't someone that you dated the two of swords Yeah, this is someone that's very grounded. They're very intelligent. They make good choices. This is someone who... You have the Knight of Cups on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Aries. This is someone that you're definitely manifesting. Someone that you wished for. Some, like your knight in shining armor. This is someone who's coming to protect you, to comfort you, to grow with you, you know, to expand. This person is expanding, you know, with the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands. This person is definitely expanding. They're expanding their horizons. Um, this person has so many major arcana, so many, you know, good qualities that they possess. They, <clears throat> this is someone who, can you send them my way please? I'll tell my husband to please forgive me. <laughs> oh my goodness, this guy, this person, I'm not going to say this guy because it could be a girl as well. Um, but this person is very, very well-rounded I feel like this person can also be very active they're very competitive they may be athletic tell me more about this person uh, tell me about their background spirit tell me about this person What's going on with this person? New love is coming soon. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is new love. This is definitely not an ex. This is new love coming. But I feel like they're familiar. Watching your social media. So I feel like when you see this person, they're going to be looking you up. They're going to be looking you up on social media and maybe friending you or following you, hitting you on the DM. Um, but I feel like this person is checking you out, Aries. They're definitely checking you out. Tell me more about this person. <laughs> okay. Well, this may be where it starts out. Feel like it may start out with them asking you out. You had you had the Knight of Cups over there, so yeah, I definitely feel like yeah, this could definitely be a fiery interaction with this Queen of Wands here. Definitely fiery. Okay, in the past, this may have been a friend of me. This may be a somebody who. Maybe, or, or it could be that this person has a lot of frenemies. Maybe this person is so attractive, so driven that people just want to be around them, but they're not really friends. You know what I mean? They're just acquaintances. 
that's what I like to call them acquaintances because they're not really a friend they're not really not a friend but they don't mean good things to you you know um they'll stab you in the back at the first sight so yeah that's what I call an acquaintance because they come into your life just to take so he may have or she may have people who are coming into their life just to take something from them you know just to use them for some kind of social status or to make themselves look better that kind of situation and I feel like there's distance I feel like there's distance between you and this person you you may not live in the same city you may not live in the same part of the world you know they may be just visiting and you see them yeah no contact again so definitely this person may live far away this person may just be visiting family and you just meet them by chance um, but I feel like this is someone that you've known from another time in your life this is someone who has grown so much you barely even recognize them but they're kind of familiar you know what I mean um, but yeah that's what I'm getting Aries very interesting let me get another card tell me a little bit more about this person Tell me a little bit more about this person. Unsent message. Unsent text message. Okay, I feel like this person, this person is watching your social media and they may want to hit you on the DM, but I feel like they're not going to send the message. They're kind of hesitating. They're hesitating to send the message. They want to leave it up to you, Aries. They want you to make the first move. They want you to set the stage. You know what I mean? Um, very interesting. Tell me, Spirit, where is this connection going? Tell me where this connection is going. Tell me where this connection is going for Aries and their next big romance. Tell me where their connection is going in this situation the empress so not only is this person attractive i feel like they find you very attractive as well they find you very fiery very inspiring they find you very abundant very creative um this like i said this person may be manifesting you just like you're manifesting them aries they may be manifesting love because the Empress, she can manifest anything her heart desires. She has that ability. And she's also very fertile. This person may see you as very... As hitting the jackpot, you know? As... I'm, I'm feeling like this person, when they meet you or when they see you, they're like... I had a crush on you way back when, you know, um, or oh my gosh, you look so much more attractive than you did back then. And I feel like they're, they're telling you, you know, I, I liked you back then, but wow, I really like you now, you know, that that's how I'm feeling with this interaction, Aries. Very, very interesting. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is very successful. And I believe that this relationship can be very successful. This relationship can be very, very fruitful. Um, I feel like it can grow. It can prosper. The King of Pentacles, he's very um, supportive. He's also very wise very practical when 
you're with the King of Pentacles, you're with this person forever. They're looking for the long term. They're not looking for something short lived. You know, the, the King of Pentacles, he's very loyal. He's very, um, he knows how to work hard and get what he wants. You know, and I'm not saying it's a he, I'm saying this is, I'm, I'm saying that's what the King is. You know, they're very reliable. You can lean on the King of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles, definitely. So I feel like this person, this relationship, I feel like it's a good choice. It's a good match. I feel like you you like go together like yin and yang. You know what I mean? Um, you just fit. I feel like you when you're talking with this person, your conversation just fits. When you're around this person, you just feel very comfortable, very at home. You know? The star. So yeah, this relationship is is gonna prosper into something very beautiful. This is new love, new hope, new miracles coming about. This person is going to make you their spotlight. They're going to sit you high on a pedestal. I feel like you give this person a lot of balance as well as they give you a lot of balance. You kind of balance each other out, you know? Um, but I feel like this relationship, this relationship is very beautiful. Very beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this person is definitely reliable, but they're also patient. They're willing to work, and I feel like they're willing to work to grow, to um, take your relationship to the next level. But I feel like they're, do they're ready to do that at a time that's perfect for both of you you know I feel like this person really thinks about your emotions really cares about your feelings um, Wow okay yeah this person is very honest very giving <laughs> you have the knight of swords and I just said that this person is very honest they're very honest they're very giving this person is also very witty. Um, they may be a little fast talking, you know, but I feel like this person, this relationship that you're in with this person will be totally life changing. This is a lifestyle change. This is totally different from what you experienced. This person may live totally different than what you've experienced. I feel like this person is very successful. They, they may be very abundant. They may be very, you know, prosperous. They may have a good job because they're so driven, because they're so busy. But I feel like this person is willing to take time with you. They're willing to practice love with you. You know, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this person is willing to, you know, play one-on-one. -on -one. This person may be really, really into sports. Um, they may be an athlete. Tell me about this love connection. How does Aries feel about this love connection? How does Aries feel about this love connection? Where is this love connection going for Aries? Yeah. Before you go to bed, you need to text. Before, you know, you go out with your friends, you need to text. 
this person because I feel like this person is long distance this person um, may be traveling back to their home but I feel like you communicate with this person a lot tell me about this person tell me about Aries next big romance how do they feel about this connection love call yeah definitely I feel like you're going to be on the phone with this person a lot I feel like you're going to be communicating over the phone a lot until you make more decisions. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. Um, like I said, I feel like this person is very caring. They're very giving. They want to really provide your needs, your wants, your desires. Mm. Tell me about the overall connection. Where is this love going, Spirit? Tell me about the overall connection. Where is this love going? The butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Definitely. Th this relationship is going the distance. It is going the distance. This is something long term. This is something that's going to expand. Something that's going to grow. Something that's going to blossom into something very special. Very exhilarating. That's how I'm feeling for you, Aries very beautiful energy okay Aries I'm going to leave the reading here <clears throat> until your next reading um, if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and now if this reading doesn't resonate which oh my god I don't know why it wouldn't <laughs> I want it to resonate but um if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your moon and rising sign if I have them uploaded. And Aries, many blessings to you. Until the next reading, love and light.